it's Beauty Junkie. Welcome to my channel. Today we're doing a little review of some body products. I have a couple lotions, a glowy body product, a body wash, and a hair product. Um, I have a heat styling spray. I've been on the search for the best one. And I have a couple of perfume samples to talk about. So let's get into it. So body care is a category that I've really been enjoying exploring, indulging in. I mean, even though it's like a part of the everyday and you, after a while you kind of stop noticing your body wash. But I enjoy it. I like having different ones depending on the mood. Like, ooh, I really want this one today. Tomorrow I might want a different one. So I have been looking for really great smelling ones, ones that feel good on the skin as well. Um, so let's get into body wash first. So this one I got from Saks Fifth Avenue. I did a little order and I noticed they had a body wash scent that I had, didn't see in other websites, but I don't, I didn't search every website on the internet. This is from Frederick Mall, which is a French perfumer. They have some amazing fragrances. This is the En Passant Body Wash from Olivia Giacobetti. This is not a big body wash. I know I looked at the size, but when it arrived, I'm like, oh, it's smaller than I thought. And this is like around $65. I got 10% off. So I got it for $59 for 200 milliliters, 6.7 ounces. It's not unheard of for this kind of size for a luxury body wash. So we're on the highest end of body washes in my opinion. Um, so En Passant is a white floral, one of the white florals from Frederick Mall. I tried the perfume, I have a perfume, perfume, perfume samples, and I really liked it. So I when they don't have the body wash of Liz Mediterranean, which is the fragrance that I have from this brand. I would love to get a body wash of that, but this is close enough um, because I like this one too. So this is a rich, dense texture, a cleansing foam that will leave your skin feeling soft and replenished. A generous drop of En Passant body wash transports you to a flowering garden where a spring breeze catches a white li lilac bouquet. Skin is left with a pared down set of flowers over a handful of orange leaves, wheat, and cucumber. Okay, so this is green. I love the color. I think that's one of the reasons I picked it up. So I love this packaging. Um, a lot of brands are doing this kind of twist up whole packaging. You squeeze it out. You don't have to twist off the cap and then put it back on. It's very convenient. I'm not sure if this costs less than a pump. Hopefully it does. But I'll try to show you the texture. So this is very gel-like. And it doesn't turn into like an oil or a white foam or anything like that. It turns a little bit milky. But it's kind of a really nice medium texture gel. And it smells like real flowers, really fresh. I was kind of surprised. I thought it would be a more overwhelming, stronger scent. But it's actually very tolerable. So I like that, that it's not in your face. Because if you have it in your face body wash and then you put the perfume on top of it, it's way too much. I, I don't think this scent lasts on you after you wash yourself. It's not like, oh, I don't need to wear a fragrance. I just use the body wash. No, not nothing like that. Um, but in the moments that you are in the shower or bath, you're going to enjoy the scent. It's going to be a nice experience. It's really takes you to a different place, at least temporarily. So I like the scent of it, this a lot. If you haven't smelled it though, this is too expensive of a product to just blind try. So I would go to a store, Saks, some other retailers out there that have this body wash, this fragrance line, and try it out because you might like it. But I will say in terms of the formula, I used this last night, it didn't feel that special or like my skin felt soft, my skin felt clean. But 
like most typical gel cleansers, they're not necessarily making your skin feel soft afterwards. Like I felt like I definitely still needed the lotion. Um, and yeah, I, I guess I, there was no residue or anything like that, but it wasn't like, oh, my skin feels so much better after I use it. It does, doesn't feel super hydrating or anything like that. So I don't know if there's a lot of skincare development in this product. It's like drying in my hand now. But it smells nice, and if you love the scent, you might as well get the body wash. But otherwise, I'm not sure it's really worth it in terms of taking care of your body skin. Um, but, you know, I bought it, I tried it, now I know. Alright, moving on to my lotions. So I picked up a couple. This one on Sephora was rated really highly. This is the Fenty Skin Butter Drop. And this is a lotion on the thicker side. It does have some oils in it. So if you don't like thick lotion or an oily lotion, not that it's super oily, it's actually less oily than I thought it would be, but it's got some <laughs> texture. So I will try to show you. What this is like as best as I can. You see how it's not really disappearing. It's it's a thick one, but it's nice because it's still spreadable. It's very spreadable for a thick lotion. It doesn't have a crazy weird scent. It's kind of a light, fresh scent. I think they added something so that it doesn't smell bad, but it's not like, oh my god, your lotion stinks. It's, it's not probably for everyone, just because everyone has an opinion about fragrance and what things should smell like or shouldn't smell like. I think it smells nice and really light. I don't think it's offensive at all, but if you prefer fragrance free, it's not really fragrance free. I just really like the texture of it. I think it's going to be really nice for winter. Um, I'm a huge fan. I've been loving it the last couple days. What's great about this also, you can pop this out and purchase a refill. Now, you, with this product in particular, it's pretty expensive. The refill is a little bit less money, but not dramatically different than the full price cost. But for the environment, I suppose it's a little bit better that you can refill it. Yeah, it kind of snaps down into place. I don't really know the details of how to get it out at this point. But that's kind of cool that people are going in that direction with the refillable packaging. The only thing for me, I would prefer a pump, but this is pretty thick, so I'm not too surprised it's in this kind of container. And, you know, the color, this like kind of light muted lavender is kind of pretty, you know, on your counter. Um, yeah, I just wanted to try it out because it had really high reviews on Sephora. Now, I got another lotion. You're probably thinking, why? Well, this one is a... AHA refining kind of exfoliating lotion. It's got some fruit acids in it. And this is from Sol de Janeiro. This is the pink one. It has a Charosa 40 scent, which I have no idea what that is. I guess they have fragrances in all their scents. I'm going to put this on my chest because it's supposed to be smoothing. If you're going to put makeup on your body, you might want to have a soothing lotion on first. Smoothing lotion to make sure everything is nice and even tone. I know I'm turning red, but that's pretty normal. Um, the only thing with like a exfoliating lotion, you want to be careful about sun exposure. Um, but so you don't, maybe you not want to use this every day. Um, it's going to make you a little bit more sensitive to the sun. But it's a really nice texture, less oily than the Fenty one. Definitely kind of like a pudding, slightly thick texture. I'd say it's slightly different than the original Sol de Janeiro cream. It definitely smells different, absolutely. It's a lot more tame. I think a lot of people are going to like this scent more than the other one because it's kind of barely there, not in your face. 
I don't really know what it is. I don't think it's strong of anything. I don't think it smells like anything really. Um, it's slightly pink. I enjoy the texture. I wanted another exfoliating lotion. I have one that's a little bit more serious from Oskaya, the Renaissance lotion. That is better than some I've tried in the past, but it's still like a little bit of a more bumpy, slightly thicker texture. It's not bad, it's just you don't, I don't know, it's not something I really enjoy using. I use it because I feel like it helps. <laughs> anyway, so I'm smoothed out now. Um, first impressions I like. Would I prefer a pump? Of course. Um, but I'm smoothed out because I want to use this Fenty Body Sauce. I have the lighter shade Pearl Swirl 01. This is a body luminizing tint. This is like a glow body product, but I've heard you can use it on your face. So we're going to do both today. And what's cool about this is it has a pump, even though it's like a squeezy tube. Look at this color. It's kind of like a weird texture, kind of. It's a little bit thick, almost like a thick primer. I try to wear an exposing top today. And you're supposed to put it on your body. And for me, this is going to make me look way tan, but it blends out. It looks really natural. I know it looks a little scary at the beginning. And what I like about it is it's not an oil. I have some like glowy oils that are not as pleasant to apply and they kind of make you stick to everything. But this texture is incredible. And it's not like super shimmery. The scent isn't offensive. Like a lot of the oils and stuff that I've tried are like always coconutty scenting, scented, coconut scented. Now my face looks really white. There might be a conflict with the Fenty lotion and this body sauce because it's getting some pilling. Well, good for you guys to know that. Take some of that off my arm. So pilling is like when the lotion kind of bunches up. Just like on your face, it can happen on your body. Just means the formulas don't mix. Um, that well, but I didn't have a lot of dry time in between, so in these ways, it's a nice little bit of color, so I don't look stark white, if that's what you're into. I mean, you could kind of see it as like a stocking, like you want to put on your legs instead of wearing nylons or tights, um, you want to even out your legs or your arms, skin tone or whatever. You can put it anywhere you want, but I have heard Kate the Great Beauty, she likes to put this on her face, so we're going to try that. A little bit scary. I'm kind of going to apply it as a bronzer. It's very liquidy. So I'm putting this on top of powder, unfortunately. I normally wouldn't do that. Ooh, that's kind of gorgeous. Um... I don't know if it's going to break me out because it's not meant for the face. We're just experimenting here. Um, but I have the makeup on, so hopefully there's like a good layer <laughs> in between. Oh, wow. That is pretty. I kind of love this. Just first impressions. This is pretty. even on top of powder. I just went on vacation. Look at that. I'm like less than a minute. I look somewhat tan. That is an awesome product. So this body sauce comes in different shades. So you want to, this looks like a little bit dark, but it, it blends out. Like you can make it work even if you're light like me. Um, I can't speak to the other shades though, how those work, but wow. 
I'm impressed. So this is an expensive product. Not gonna lie, but I mean, if you kind of leave it up here on your arms and on your face, it should last you a while. Um, I know we're getting into the cooler months. You may not want to use this as much, but if you always want like a year round, little bit of tan, little bit of glow, this is a good product, better than ruining your skin with the sun. Um, it's very interesting. I just love that it doesn't smell like coconut and the texture, pretty nice. So surprise, surprise, this is a winner. I mean, I'm not too surprised, but I mean, this is a little bit hard to find on Sephora's website. Actually, I had to type in the name body sauce. Like when you went to the Fenty brand and looked at all the products, it wasn't on there. Uh, so this is not a makeup product, this is a body product. You might have to go to that section. All right, let's get into my last couple of things I want to talk about. This heat styling spray from Living Proof. I think I had a version from this brand before. Um, it is expensive, but I like that it claims at least that you get heat protection up to 450 degrees. So um, this is going to be good for when I straighten my hair with a flat iron and I've used it a little bit yesterday. It worked pretty well. Ultra fine mist to keep your hair cleaner longer without weighing it down. It says hold canister 6 to 10 inches away from damp or dry hair section and apply in sweeping motion throughout the hair. Style with a heat tool. Finish with final spray for extra smoothness and shine. So this one... Texture is really important with these, and also heat protection is the most important. So this is what it's like. And I like a really fine mist. So with this one, you're not going to get shine. It's not going to look greasy. My hair looks greasy right now. But it's got a nice texture to it. It does kind of provide... A little bit of a powdery texture to your hair so it's not necessarily going to soften it you might feel some smoothness but you also might feel a little bit of a powdery texture um, but to me it it's a little bit thick but at least it's protecting my hair what I like most it's not sticky at all so that's really important when you're looking for one of these kinds of sprays and my straightener was able to glide over it really easily. Um, but I would just remind you if like if you want more of a shiny look, you're gonna want to put an oil after you use this or a shine spray separately. But other than that, like like first impressions using it like the first time, I thought it did a good job and the texture is nice. I wish it was less expensive, but most of these sprays are like twenty-six to twenty-eight dollars. And it's really hard to find a good cheap one anymore, especially that pr promises 450 degree heat protection. And really that's the most important thing. Otherwise I wouldn't use a spray like this. Otherwise just in my hair normally, if I'm not going to straighten it, I wouldn't use a spray. But I enjoy it. It's going to be perfect for people that want to style the hair when it's dry. If you want to curl it, straighten it, you need a spray like this. Especially you want to keep your hair from getting damaged. Not that it's going to prevent all damage. It's not like you can use this. You can use a straightener every day and not expect damage. Even if you use this. Because we're not supposed to put heat to our hair, color, chemicals. If you do any of that, you're going to damage your hair. Even washing your hair can damage your hair. So I don't want to give that impression. But this does help. Especially if you have highlighted hair color treated hair. Your hair is even more sensitive. So I am enjoying this. Last but not least, let's get into the couple fragrance samples I got with my Saks Fifth Avenue order. This is a new fragrance from Byredo Young Rose. You guys can see. There we go. Got a nice size sample spray. Let's see. What's really consistent about Byredo is they are really known for their freshness. So every fragrance you smell has a bit, has a lot of freshness to it. And this is no exception. 
Young Rose. So I think it's called Young Rose probably because it smells pretty green. It's not very rosy. Ooh, I just sprayed my face. Very aromatic, like very... I don't know that this would last. It's not very strong, so if you like more of a minimal rose, I would say this is more of a minimal green-ish fragrance. Interesting, I want to read you the notes because I don't want to just make up things here. So 100 mils, 3.4 ounces, $270 for this perfume. Reframing tradition through the perspectives of a new generation, Young Rose represents an ode to the perennial restlessness of youth an olfactory diary of those who are writing their own future. Fiery Sichuan pepper upon a foundation of Damascus rose. The fragrance deliberately defines convention, offering a twisted take on a classic romance. So the top notes are ambrette seeds, Sichuan pepper. The heart is orris and Dam Damascena rose. Base is musk and ambroxan. I think this is a very unisex rose fragrance, to be honest. <laughs> I'm not like super excited about it, to be honest. Yeah, it's okay. It's an Uda perfume. Let's move on to my last little perfume sample. I'm pretty sure I've talked about this before. This, but this is like an official uh, sample of Portrait of a Lady from Frederick Mall. They're like most popular fragrance, I believe. I actually have a larger size of this now. I haven't talked about it in a video yet, but um, came with my Saks order. I didn't get to pick the sample. It just came with this one. This is such a rich fragrance. Um, I don't know that I, how often I'm going to wear it, to be honest. It's very nighttime for me. First impressions, it's beautiful, but it is very like going into an old antique store and smelling sort of, I don't know, like an older textile. And I mean that in the most positive way. It's a beautifully done fragrance. It's very rich in my opinion. It's really nice, but it's a very sophisticated woman's fragrance in my opinion, which isn't quite me yet. I can see this wearing this for me probably a little bit later on in life. It reads a bit older to me is what I'm trying to say. If you haven't already picked that up. Let's read about the notes. So um, a lot of people love this. A lot of people really into perfume love this fragrance. This is a Baroque, sumptuous, and symphonic perfume that requires hundreds of trials to balance such an impressive, expressive formula. It's the strongest ever dosage of rose and scents and patchouli heart. So if you like rose and patchouli, you're going to like this one. Not everybody likes patchouli. It's a bit of a hippie scent, so maybe that's why I get the like the antique store vibes, kind of that hippie, dippy kind of a feel. Dominique Ropion is the one that created this. This is a oriental rose based on an accord of benzoin, cinnamon, sandalwood, and patchouli musk fragrance, frankincense. Sensuous beauty that attracts people like a mad magnet, a modern classic. I think you just really have to smell this one. Um, Lots of perfume sample sites carry it because it's so popular. It's a very expensive fragrance. Anything from Frederick Mall is expensive. So just be aware of that. I don't know. I mean, I, there are dupes out there. Um, but I think you should try to smell a sample of the original if you can. All right, that's it for my body product video. Let me know what you think. What do you think of this body sauce? My face is still a lot lighter than my body, but... I'm kind of liking this glow. Alright guys, let me know if you like this video. Click the thumbs up, comment below, subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys.